Male student was sharing peep at school. Once confronted he said, I just wanted to show them my sister. <laughs> Teachers of Reddit. What's the craziest rumor you've heard about a student that turned out to be true? As a student there was a rumor a kid in our high school was dating this really hot teacher. He would hang out in her room every day after school and she drove him home a few times. It turns out after our junior year she got a divorce. And after senior year she resigned, joined his band, and they got married. I mean they are still married and it's been almost 8 years. But man it was super f peeped up. Joined his band. Were they any good? I think they are pretty good actually. They do a lot of Grateful Dead type stuff, if you're into that kind of music. I guess that kid liked his women with a touch of grey. I heard a rumor from other staff members that an exceptionally bad kid chose to misbehave because he was dying of cancer. It turns out the kid was told in second grade that he had six months to live. Despite having missed half the year, the school shuffled him along to the next grade so he could stay with his friends, trying to not ruin his limited time on earth. However, he continued to miss tons of school for treatment and continued to not die, despite doctors estimating his time remaining to be very short. He continued to be shuffled along in school until suddenly he found himself in high school and almost illiterate. So he acted out and misbehaved and, when teachers tried to discipline him, he would scream I'm dying to try to guilt his way out of punishment. <coughs> that a student couldn't hand in their assignment because there was an explosion in their house. Having heard many excuses before I was very skeptical to say the least. An hour later guidance called me down to inform me that the student had been living with some sort of drug dealer and their apartment had indeed experienced an explosion due to drug related equipment. I didn't see that one coming. And the student got an appropriate extension on the assignment. It'd be ironic if the assignment was on chemistry. No, it was English literature. But I had been discussing the excuse with my colleagues as the most outlandish I had ever heard. Until the story was confirmed in a small local news source. A group of giggling 12 year olds in my class told me that one of their fellow students wasn't in today as she was pregnant. I phone home, fully expecting this to be some stupid rumor started by the kids on the school bus that morning. But no, my 12 year old student was not only pregnant, but had actually given birth in her bedroom during the night. She was a little overweight anyway, and wore big baggy jumpers everyone did back then so nothing unusual there so no one noticed at all, and she told no one, claiming she had no idea. I'd taken them all on a school trip to Elton Towers theme park the day before, and she'd been on all the roller coasters and rides. No wonder she gave birth. If you are enjoying this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up button to support this channel. Yes. The baby was healthy, and they thought he was full term. Even the hospital got very little information out of her as she just insisted she'd not known she was pregnant. Many of us, and her friends were unconvinced by this though as she'd apparently stopped smoking a few months, before for no reason being a 12 year old smoker wasn't unheard of at that school sadly, and she'd joked about having peep with someone months before, but then said only joking, and denied it all, when friends called her a slut. I don't know if the father was ever determined. Social services were already involved in this girl's family. I don't know much of what else happened as I moved to a different school after that year. But I did see her in town a few years later. She had two kids with her plus her mother. Who basically brought the kids up for her. Wow. Something similar happened to a girl when I was in high school. She had gained some weight when we were 12 to 13 and was sick and away from school for a while. The weight gain seemed like normal puberty stuff and nobody really thought that much of it. Fast forward to after our graduation and we all find out the niece she always has been looking after slash posting photos of is actually her 5 year old daughter. The father was the kid who lived next door and I guess they didn't really know what was happening we didn't learn about peeped until 15 to 16. She didn't even realize she was pregnant. Just felt sick. The doctors couldn't figure out what was wrong with her until they took her in for an x-ray and realized she was 8 months along. 
turns out she was going through custody battles during high school. The father of the kid our age even enrolled into our school at some point during the custody battles, and she kept it quiet, but still had to see him every day. Her mother had raised the kid, so she could finish high school. When it all come out her friends were all very supportive of her. A few years on, and she's now become a nurse. It must have been really hard, though herself and her daughter both seem to be doing well now. Just makes me sad. Peeped prevents these sorts of situations. These kids didn't even know what was happening. Just makes me sad. Peeped prevents these sorts of situations. These kids didn't even know what was happening. Yes. My husband's parents are super religious and banned him from attending any of the peeped classes growing up here we have them in 5th grade and 9th grade. As a teenager he stuck his dick in crazy and almost got her pregnant. When I was in my early 20s I got a call from one of my best friend's girlfriends. She knew I had been pregnant and was freaking out because she thought she was. I asked her when they had peep last. Her answer. They never had. She gave him a blowjob and swallowed. I had to explain it to her. I decided to make sure my daughter is informed. So far, lots of weird uncomfortable conversations for me, but my daughter doesn't hesitate to ask me things and knows a fair amount about peep and pregnancy. I used to work with students at a construction college who were aged between 16, 19. Shortly after a new intake I overheard a couple of the new learners calling one of the others bank robber. I asked them all to stay behind, to talk to them about appropriate names slash ensure there wasn't any bullying going on etc. The young man in question seemed extremely well mannered and had what I can only describe as a baby face with a cheeky grin. Turns out he actually had a criminal record of trying to hold up a bank with his dad using garden implements. I had no words. Must have been quite the hoedown. He probably wasn't the sharpest tool in the shed. Some. Body. Once told me. The world is gonna. Roll me. I ain't the sharpest. Tool in the shed. There was a girl in one of the middle schools that I work at. 7th grade. It became pretty obvious that she was several months pregnant and obviously people started talking. Come to find out that the girl's family married her off to some sicko in the Dominican Republic. According to what was going around, they took a trip down there, married her off, and he got her pregnant, with the goal of using her and the baby as a way to make it easier for the father to immigrate. Not sure how well this would have worked, but this was the rumored plan. The rumor started to pick up some serious traction very quickly once she started showing, and it became obvious she was pregnant. She apparently confided in someone that she was not a willing participant in any of this. The authorities got involved and made a visit to the home. Not sure what happened. They went to go make a second trip and the entire family disappeared. We have not seen or heard from the girl since and have no idea if she's in a different part of the state the country, or went back to the drive. Side note. If he had actually come to the US, would the US have even recognized the marriage to a 7th grader? Even if she were a willing participant, would they have been able to prosecute him for rape of a child, even though the actual rape took place in the doctor? My guess is that the family knew the authorities were probably going to arrest the whole lot of them for numerous charges and took off. I would assume that the guy would have been arrested as well, if not for the rape that led to the conception. But for attempting to establish a marriage in the US with a 12 year old girl that wanted nothing to do with him. Edit. Added a couple of details. Can't speak for the US, but we got several teenage pregnant girls during the Syria immigration crisis. Apparently the marriage isn't necessarily legally upheld, although it often is, and the men can't be sued for rape if they are actually married. A lot of them are married in Syria, which means there's zero paperwork to prove it. But when both the girl and guy, even if he's like 40 years older claim that it's consensual I assume most of those girls are brainwashed there's apparently nothing the state can do. The worst they can do is separate the couple physically until the girl is of age. Male student was sharing peep at school. Once confronted he said, 
I just wanted to show them my sister. Parents confirmed that the actress was indeed his sister, and that they were very proud of her success. I mean, probably not the best place to share but hell, if they are proud of her. If she is happy, they are happy. I'm happy too. We heard from a disgruntled boyfriend that his girlfriend had let the entire basketball team have peep with her, one right after the other. We took it as a jealous slash angry attempt to smear her reputation but obviously had to look into it for safety reasons, and because it reportedly took place on school grounds. We did some asking around and quickly found out that she had indeed had peep with the entire basketball team in roughly 45 minutes before one of their games. She said someone brought it up as a joke because it would bring the team good luck. One thing lead to another. Yikes. Jeepers how big was the team? It was around 50 nice boys. So 3 minutes per boy. A respectable average. I heard about two 6th graders who were rumored to be involved in prostitution. A teacher later confirmed it is true, as both students were discovered dead, murdered while working as prostitutes. I don't remember the full story, but the teacher was heartbroken because they were her students. I remember in 6th grade I shared a bus stop with a girl who told me she was a prostitute. I didn't believe her, but after that year I never saw her again, and I met her older sister a few years later, and confirmed it all. Crazy stuff. They both were getting pimped out by their own mom. That's peeping horrible. It happens a lot more often than people realize. I work with a special needs kid in state custody right now. Has the product of incest and his mom pimped him out for drugs. Peep people. But that'll make more people. And people are awful. Not a teacher, but there was a rumor senior year that a girl was blowing her boyfriend in the parking lot before school every morning, and it became so prevalent that even the teachers knew about it. School administrators finally investigated it, and it turned out the girl really was blowing her boyfriend in the parking lot before school every morning. I did high school so wrong. Not a teacher but, in high school I heard a rumor that one of the English teachers was sending dirty letters and stalking girls on the sports teams. Found out it was true when one of the girls reported him. Letters? That's some serious self-confidence to give the students handwritten evidence that he's a diddler and expect to get away with it. Probably set up a giant child pageant to prove he wasn't a diddler. One of my students came back to school in August with a dress and a sign saying she is trans. Coolio. No big deal. And then she left for two weeks. In America if a student is gone for two weeks, there is going to be some form of talking to the parents. One of her friends told my co-workers and I to not bother because her family moved to Sweden. We thought the kid was joking, but a quick check on Facebook show that the family moved to Sweden and never told anyone. No one has heard of the family since. There are minor activity on Facebook to show that they are alive and breathing. But aunts, uncles, and grandparents have not heard from the family since. We don't know if the trans thing and the sudden move are connected. In America if a student is gone for two weeks, there is going to be some form of talking to the parents. Wait, what am I missing? Does nobody bat an eye when a student doesn't show up to class? Over here, if a student doesn't show up to class and his parents haven't notified the school, the school will immediately try to contact them. If unsuccessful, the school has to involve the local police who will then start looking for the student. Not to punish him slash her, but because something might have happened to them. Since the parents are trusting the school with the safety of their child, the school is legally obligated to treat it as a missing child. Edit. A lot of replies seem to confuse what the point behind this is. If you sent your daughter to spend the day with a friend, but she never shows up there, wouldn't you want said friend's parents to let you know immediately? I remember when I was sick once, and my parents forgot to phone the school. They got a call about 10 in the morning asking where I was. I can't imagine not showing up for a week in the school just not caring. 
my cousins went to a school where the only day they'd call home about kids cutting class was for over 20, or if they'd missed several consecutive days. I went to a very uptight private school where every class period took attendance and both called home and gave you detention if you missed a single class. I was baffled when I heard about my cousin's school. The amount of freedom was astounding. Very sad story that happened a few years ago. A kid told me that a guy lit himself on fire at a bonfire. I didn't believe it until I read it in the paper. Went to school with a kid that took apart a few fireworks and set them close to his face. He was out for a few months. Came back with fresh pink skin. Was Gandalf really mad at him? The culinary teacher who just had kids with her husband and the biology teacher were caught making out by a student during an event. It was confirmed by them soon after. I saw on Facebook recently that now they are married. Honestly they look really happy. I heard they were in the closet making babies and I saw one of the babies and the baby looked at me 